What's up, everybody? It's Roger and Victoria here, founder of this Kingdom Podcast. In this episode, we're going to be talking about all those rumors of a brand new Ratatouille ride possibly coming to the um, French or France Pavilion over in Epcot's World Showcase. Apparently, there have been some uh, sort of patents and kind of um, things put in with the uh, the district for um, the South Florida uh, Water Management District. Um, it's basically to have runoff because they're going to be cementing over it so they need to have runoff from there there's a big empty area near the uh, morocco pavilion um so first of all what's your reaction to this news um i wasn't terribly surprised just because it's so close to you know d23 but i mean the only thing that really surprised me i would say is the um uh i can't even say oh the um Alan's energy adventure mm. Mainly because I saw Guardians and Tron, and they were bouncing back and forth between that. So I guess it's still undetermined what the ride's really going to be rethemed as. Yeah, I mean, we're going to be doing another episode um, later this week where we're going to be talking about um, other rumors running around for the D23 Expo for Epcot. But as far as the Ratatouille goes, I'm going to be honest, this, this sort of rumor, this news coming out, to me was almost just like... Yeah, I've been expecting this for years. I honestly have been expecting this news to be coming for a while. There's a massive area at the back. We knew there was. The money that went into building um, Ratatouille over in Disneyland Paris, it made sense. It it makes sense to build up the World Showcase with new attractions. Ratatouille is an awesome... Ad- um, did you manage to do it when you were in Disneyland Paris? I did, and I did really like it. So, I again, I'm not surprised either. But, I mean, I feel like Frozen Ever After was their test, like, mm. to see how it would work in World Showcase, how guests would react to it, and now that, you know, it's clearly a success, I feel like that was the next step. Yeah, I mean, personally, you know, this this attraction is should be cheaper for them to, now that, as well as that, they probably, is by the time this all goes through, they might even, now that they own Disneyland Paris... Or they're pretty much going to be by the time this gets built. They might not have to pay royalties backwards and forward, and therefore that makes it a bit easier. But all the technology's there. They've got the print. They've got the blueprints. They've already built one. They can test it. They've already worked out the kinks over in Paris. So this makes total sense. So it should be an easier attraction to build because it's not brand new. This is just porting it over to um, Florida. Um, as far as I'm concerned, bringing more Disney to the World Showcase is needed. Um, oh yes, absolutely. Um, I think you know, as far as I'm concerned, with that world check, is it needs bringing up to the 21st century, and bringing Disney to the world showcase is great. Now, part of me loves the way the world showcase is. I'm going to be, I love it there. I love walking around. I love the way they do it. But you wander around and you, you eat and you drink and you look at the sights and it, you've got the lake and it's a beautiful place. And I think for adults, it's definitely kind of like it was always my parents' favorite park because mm-hmm. the world showcase. It's it's calmer. It's different to anywhere else in Disney. Yeah, I agree. I, I actually had my own personal experience with that as an adult last Friday. I, I took the dog out for the first time, so it was a little different for me. <laughs> but me and my roommate were talking about how it's kind of awkward to be in Epcot now because there's no festivals going on. And we mm. went through World Showcase, and it was just, like, it was great. We loved doing it, but it's it definitely definitely went straight to Norway. Let's yeah. just say that. We definitely went there. Yeah. I must admit that thing. Yeah, I decided to take my dog out for a walk. Where'd you go? Well, we went around the World Showcase. It does... <laughs> <laughs> that, that's definitely kind of sliding into the kind of, you know, the local territory of like, oh, yeah, we popped down there, walked the dog, take it for walk, a run around the lap and around the lake and just came home. It was like, well, I'm like, really? Okay. But, um, to, the thing is, for me, with that World Showcase, is that if you're taking the kids there, or taking the family there, there is not a lot there. The attractions are all dated. They've kind of, you know, the, the old Canada and the Chinese 360. You know, they take up a lot of space. There's not really a lot going on there. Um, you know, obviously Mexico added in the um, Donald Duck and the um, Caballeros. So that spikes that up a little bit. And I, that kind of keeps it going. And obviously Frozen as well. Personally... I think having a Disney attraction in each of the showcases would be great. And I think that would be a great way of showing case. And I just think, for me, I think, again, having us been on the on the Paris attraction, it's a lot easier for us to go, like, yeah, it's awesome. Just put it in there. It makes sense. Yeah, it does. It definitely does. And I feel like it's such a popular attraction. I personally loved it. It was one of the first things we, like, ran to go get Fast Passes for, and I was not disappointed. It reminded mm. me sort of of... Um... 
I guess, like, a universal 3D ride, but mm. with Disney style. And I feel yeah. like they should probably, honestly, incorporate that a lot more. I mean, the way it's done, I mean, you sort of, I mean, there's a quite a few different like, movies with um, France and stuff that they could have done. I'm, I'm, I'm really surprised it's taken this long, in all honesty. Um, I I would have, I'm sure I, we did an episode of this years ago saying that this is what we thought was going to happen. Um, and... The fact they're putting it into France, I mean, I can't see them putting anything else in there. There's been lots of rumours. It wouldn't surprise me, as I said, if this does get announced at D23. Um, there is obviously that counter-argument that a lot, there's a, the trouble is with Epcot, Epcot's kind of got this weird thing where a lot of people don't want it to be changed. Oh, yes. Yeah, that is, I mean, it's, it's interesting because people, some people will say it should be better than what it is, which I agree. Like, there was a vision for it, and it's completely lost at this point, but I know once the changes are announced, people aren't going to be too pleased because they're very nostalgic. As fans, mm. we're very nostalgic. Mm. I mean, for me, it's like I said, for Ratatouille, it makes total sense. That area, if it's just a storage area and a car park, you might as well put an attraction in there. Ratatouille is awesome. It fits Paris. That movie isn't going to be doing anything isn't going to be going away for the next 20, 30, 40 years. It's got generations built into it. It's going to continue to have, because it is a great movie. You know, it's a, it would make a lot more sense to do Ratatouille than doing, say, an Aristocats movie or something other, or some other movie that like Hunchback of Notre Dame or something like that, which is based in France. I'm just surprised it's taking this long. Um, I'm all for this. I think this is great news. I think it's great for Epcot. And it's, it's a no brainer. The, the attraction's there. They've got the, plans they built one they could even have it all built ready to go you know just bring it on in it, it might it might not take as long because the development cycle on this will be shorter because of, of um disneyland paris yeah i agree i mean i when i like, like you i was kind of surprised it took so long but then once i started to realize you know a prize anniversary is coming up and it was literally the last part to get an overhaul unlike the other parts it kind of started i started putting you know clues together so but it does make sense for it to go there yeah i mean there's a big space there um apparently i think you could fit two or three or four of the actual attractions in there so they've got some extra space they might make it bigger they maybe might do two halls they might work out a way of doing kind of like they've done with soaring of maybe make one attraction but make it like duplicate it so they can run two at the same time you know if they've got the space you know they're very much into that idea now of, you know they know they've got the crowds there they need to control them better so that would make it a little bit more sense it might be a lot bigger than paris because they'll want to get the people in and out a bit quicker yeah yeah i, yeah, I could see that honestly i just think it's there's nothing there's this is not a bad idea i don't no. understand how anyone could see this is a bad no. idea but we would love to know your thoughts on the ratatouille attraction and possibly coming to epcot's world showcase france pavilion love to know your thoughts on this as per usual you can find us over at thiskingdom.com hit that subscribe on this youtube channel um, as I said this before, it's a new channel that we've set up just for the, all the parks and stuff, so especially the Disney Kingdom podcast. And Victoria, where can they find you? They can find me on Instagram, and he calls me Pineapple Princess, and Twitter, he calls me PP. And on that note, guys, thank you very much for watching. See you guys in the episode. Later. Bye.